Herbert, my 1938 Austin 12, new Ascot, was invited to the Cofton Park Manor Care Home for their open day and car display. The care home is situated just half a mile from the site of the former Austin factory at Longbridge. The route takes us through the delightful Worcestershire village of Alvechurch, past the Red Line and up the hill towards Barnt Green. Up and over the narrow humpback bridge over the Birmingham to Worcester Canal. Under the Barnt Green to Redditch railway line. We drive round the outskirts of Burnt Green, which was built as a railway village dating back to the time of the construction of the Birmingham to Gloucester Railway and its famous Licky Incline just to the south of the station and the junction of the line taking trains to Redditch and formerly on to Evesham. We go under the four line Birmingham to Gloucester line. We cross the eastern end of the Leaky Hills down to the roundabout by the Oak Tree Pub, formerly known as the Chalet. There were lots of scooters who appeared to be taking their riders for a pint. When your classic car cover is coming up for renewal, try our club scheme arranged with Peter James Insurance. It offers great rates and a range of exclusive benefits including free salvage retention and multi-vehicle options. Just click the link in the description below to get a quote. And here we are arriving safely at Cofton Park Manor Care Home built on the site of a former MG Rover Group garage. Hiya, I'm all right, how are you? We were welcomed to the show by none other than the Pride of Longbridge organiser, Gemma Cartwright MBE, who took a coach load of Rover wives to Downing Street to tell Prime Minister Blair to do something to save the factory at Longbridge. Her grandson, Leo, soon found his way into the Herbert's driving seat and also found what the button in the middle of the steering wheel did.
all the cars on display, only five were actually built at Longbridge. But the MGBs and Morris Minor engines and gearboxes were also made there. The Morris Minor, launched in 1948 by Morris Motors at Cowley, was, apparently, a pretty mediocre car. But after the formation of BMC in 1952, the Austin A-Series engine was fitted and this brought it to life. Half a dozen Triumph Stags were displayed, looking lovely in the sunshine, but considering the weather, I was amazed that one still had its wimp cover up. Herbert stood by a lovely MG ZT and a low mileage Rover 75. I'm afraid that I can't tell you anything about the motorcycles as, to me, they generally have too few wheels to be safe. But I hope the sidecar passenger behaved himself. Grove MG Owners Club brought along a collection of Abingdon built cars as well as an MGF built down the road at Longbridge, all looking very shiny. Time to go and we head out towards the Oak Tree Roundabout, this time heading up Rose Hill into the Licky Hills with the now derelict Bilbury Tea Rooms on the left. These were built by the Quakers to keep people out of the various pubs in the area. On Rose Hill, as we pass the Rose and Crown on the right, we're forced to change down to third gear as the incline increases. During the early years of the Austin Motor Company, this hill would be used to test the cars after they had been completed. Mechanics would drive them up the hill, take them back to their workshops and make adjustments, and then revisit the hill, repeating this until the performance met expectations. We are calling in at the churchyard to pay our respects to Lord Austin and his wife, Helen, who are buried there.
Driving around the outside of the churchyard, back onto Rose Hill, and left again, we head through the lanes to Burcott. After a lovely day out, Herbert looked forward to a rest in his garage, and I relaxed with a nice cool beer at home.